When the Jaguar E-Type was presented in Geneva in 1961, the jaws of car fans all over the world dropped. Nothing like this had ever been seen before. The unashamedly long stretched bonnet, the large bulges in the metal, and on top of it, the proudly erect exhaust pipe. The Jaguar E-Type raised the bar for the general definition of a sports car. Almost all of its rivals seemed like sandal-wearing package tourists compared with an open-shirted, gelled hair Latino lover, in other words, rather lost and narrow-minded. And the E-Type cost just 26,000 marks. Its handling on the road is actually like a go-kart, but the gas pedal and the gears require a little bit more exertion. We still have the original Moss box in there, and it takes a bit of practice so that you don't get a crunch when changing gear. But aside from that, the car is nothing but fun to drive. It takes the 265 horsepower six-cylinder engine seven seconds to catapult the 1300 kilo Jaguar to 100 kilometers per hour. Theoretically, it could keep going until 240, but without a spoiler, the E-Type becomes dangerously light at 200 kilometers an hour. Then, even slight irregularities in the road can make it well and truly take off. The first series, built from 1961 to 1968, is certainly the most beautiful, with its pure lines, but that's also reflected in the collector's prices. The cheapest are the 2 plus 2 coupés from Series 2 with a 4.2 litre engine. The 3.8 is, of course, the most popular model, and so in that light it's the most expensive. Malcolm Sayer created the exciting shape and Sir Tom Lyons refined it further. Despite its many curves, the E-Type still looks masculine. The basic construction of the bodywork originates from motor racing. A steel monocoque is bolted to a tube frame at the front. Independent wheel suspension and four disc brakes, admittedly with a tendency to fade, were trend-setting high-tech. The body is over 4.5 meters long with a height of just 1.9 meters. An absolute novelty was the sideways opening boot lid. This provides a not inconsiderable boot in an otherwise small cockpit. The beautiful wood steering wheel is comfortable, the many instruments are easy to read, and only the scattered controls take some time getting used to. At the time, there were grumbles about the austere seating, but at least the narrow bucket seats keep the Jaguar's drivers in place. The Series 1 still had the 3.8-liter engine. It's a very stable, robust engine, unlike the 4.2-liter. That had several technical problems. The six-cylinder inline engine, taken from the predecessor, the XK150S, had a long development behind it, seasoned by considerable racing experience. Three SU carburetors gave it powerful thrust. Its accessibility through the completely forward opening front deserves at least one mention. Just 7,827 Series 1 E-types were built with the steady 3.8-litre engine. Prices for the E-Type are rising. That's really no surprise because its design has lost almost none of its magnetic charm in almost 40 years. 
The primary school teacher from Bavaria plans to remain as loyal to her Jaguar as fictional G-man Jerry Cotton, who, despite product placement and marketing strategies, still cannot be separated from perhaps the sexiest sports car of automotive history.